Good morning. It's a lovely, if slightly windy day here in Britain today. I thought, why not do this MRE review outside? Not very often we get the nice weather over here. All right, so that's what we've got. I haven't looked at the ingredients for today's menu, so it's going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is you. Unless it's not a surprise to you, in which case it'll be more of a surprise to me than it is you. Accessory pack. Standard. Cola flavour drink powder. Grapefruit flavour drink powder. Tropical flavour drink powder. Hot chocolate drink regular flavour. Packet of cola bottle sweets. An old favourite of mine, roasted and salted peanuts. Speaking of old favourites, cheddar cheese flavour spread. A fruit flavoured energy drink powder. Lemon flavour today. Pineapple, mango and papaya fruit mix. 75 grams. That should be interesting. Not had these before. Cheese oat biscuits. Whoa. Two cereal bars. Caramel. Cereal bar cookies and cream flavour. Then I'll be enjoying a bean and pasta salad for my main meals. A chicken in yellow curry with rice. All in one pack, I assume. So it's going to be more like a biryani. Fruitful muesli with milk. My main complaint about the last one was no fruit. So, And another delicious mince pie slice. I already know how great these are. Ooh! Tabasco sauce today, instead of hot diggity dog. Look forward to trying that. And your classic napkins. And some feedback forms. They don't want to know about what I think of the meal though. But if the MOD are watching, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, it's time for breakfast. Try out this tropical drink. Powder. A lovely tropical refreshing drink for the morning. I'm sure. So, oh, fruitful being the key bit. Yeah, there is some fruit in there. Creamer. Right, let's see what we've got. If you've ever had the Haribo sweet tropi fruity, which is quite popular in Europe, it tastes like them. You don't actually get those in this country. Yeah, pretty nice. It was like the last one, but with some more fruit already added in, which is a, a welcome bonus. In case you haven't already seen it, if you watch episode one of Matty's Munchies, you'll see me having the first one of these, which didn't contain any fruit. This one's much better with the fruit, not a few ways about it. You can really taste the sulfur dioxide. Delicious. I don't really enjoy fruit if it doesn't have sulfur dioxide on it, truth be told. Let's try out this English breakfast tea. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not a huge fan of creamer with tea, but uh, it does the job. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. I'm not sure what it was, but something in the muesli tastes like the smell of Play-Doh. Also, I forgot to have this. So. Mmm, <laughs> spearmint chewing gum. You won't believe how lovely it is. I don't know why I said that in that psycho way. It really is very good gum. Time for a snack.
Here you have it, sweet fans. Enjoy looking at them while you can, because pretty soon they're about to be demolished. Not as gummy as a Haribo sweet, not as chewy for ages, and I'm okay with that. I'm looking on the ingredients and I don't see any gelatin, so presumably that's why. I like them. Cooking up some lunch. So while my beans are cooking up, might as well prepare this fruit flavoured energy drink lemon flavour. Kind of smells like Jif lemon. Or something you might clean the floor with. Steer it up. So while we're waiting, let's check out these peanuts. Nice hiss. Oh yeah. Nice nuts. Crispy, salty, roasted. Yeah. Does what it says on the tin. Or on the vacuum sealed packet in this case. So here it is. The main event. For lunch anyway. Come on. Slightly unorthodox way to open the packet there, but... You know me. I don't like to do things by the book. Ah, I recognise this. This was in... Meal... Menu 1. Menu. They must fancy it as quite a good one if they've doubled up on the uh, same meal twice in a week. Twice in three days, as far as the menus are concerned. I think I'll be needing that after. I already need this after just opening the packet. Well, I might have had it before, but at least you can't call me a has-been. It's got beans in it, yeah. Well, yeah, that tastes the same as the first day I had it. Check out day one video if you want to know uh, the beans. You know, if you want to see that again. But yeah, it tastes the same as the first time I had it. So, time to spice things up around here. Oh, come on. Oh, no. No, it does come up. Oh, it doesn't have. Alright, I'll stop a minute while I eat this. <coughs> yep. I uh, cut it all over my hand. No problem. Not with these. L luxurious. Tender on the flesh. Purest virgin white. Antibacterial towels. See ya, bacteria! <laughs> you bacterial losers. I'm really going for it. Right. Cheese oat biscuits. Let's check it out. Whoa. Ah. Let's try a bit on our own. First off. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, I, I, as a youth, worked in a biscuit factory and we made things like this. That's probably where they're from. The thing about cheese flavour spread is you've got to knead it before eating it. Not like cheddar cheese. I've never kneaded a cheddar before I ate it, but with, with the flavoured spread, it's just something you've got to do. Part and parcel, I'm afraid. Got the one good biscuit here. Oh, I needn't have kneaded. Yeah, I mean, the biscuits are nice enough. All I can really taste now is this cheddar cheese flavoured spread. By the way, I forgot to actually tell you about the meal. Uh, with the Tabasco sauce, very nice. And that lemon juice, at first I thought it tasted like Jif lemon, but it's actually very refreshing, especially combined with something hot. For some reason, this cheddar cheese flavoured spread seems thicker than on previous days. Maybe it's just I didn't. Maybe I didn't need it enough. Maybe that's what the kneading's for—to warm it. 
So yeah, it's quite nice that. I'm going to finish those, but in the interests of speeding up this video, I'm going to try out the peppermint, and then we'll cut to me having tea. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty standard peppermint gum. A little bit odd as I do still have quite a lot of cheese and biscuit in my mouth. Anyway, join me later for tea. The caramel. It's got like an almondy, almondy taste. Kind of like marzipan. Or Play-Doh. It's got a slight flavour reminiscent of those uh, kind of protein energy type bars you might have in the gym. Welcome back. It's tea time. Little tip. If you're going to have uh, one of the tomato based meals, don't leave your spork lying in it because it kind of uh, picks up the colouring and flavour of whatever you were eating. For this meal, I'll be using this. I've taken it upon myself to pre-pour half of the hot chocolate drink regular flavor into this mug here. A running theme with these hot chocolates when I've had them in the past is they make 500 mil, which is a lot of hot chocolate for one man to have in a sitting. So I'm gonna keep half of this for another day. Cola drink and grapefruit drink. Not gonna have these just now. If you'd like to see me have a cola drink, check out day two. Everyone's favourite drink. This mince pie slice. I'm thinking I'm going to keep this for prepping reasons. Maybe in an emergency situation I could eat another one. If you'd like to see me have one of these, check out day one. Oh yeah. This side's dry. So yeah, I'm just going to have a glass of water with this meal. Might make me feel less queasy at this time of night. I've left it a little late. Here it is, the main event. Chicken in yellow curry with rice. Let's check it out. Water, first ingredient. Chicken, 18%. I was a bit dubious when it just says chicken and not chicken breast. Basically could be any old crap. Right off the bat, it doesn't smell too great. I don't mean I think it's off. It just doesn't smell very nice. It's pretty nice, quite mild. Got a little bit of spice on the back of the tongue, but nothing too heavy. Don't think it would suffer for having some of this on. See what this chicken's saying. It's all right. It tastes better than it smells. It's actually not too bad, this. It's one of the better meals I've had so far from the, um, what do you call them? Army ration things. I'm going to stop the video for now. Join me back in a moment. Okay, yeah, in summary, very nice, not too bad. Um, kind of creamy coconut. I suppose it was a bit like a karma, but with kidney beans in there. The chicken wasn't too bad, considering it just said chicken. I thought it was going to be some gammy reformed stuff, which it kind of was, but it didn't seem the worst of that. It's not like that cube stuff. Oh yeah, too hot. But I can already tell I'm going to like that. Cereal bar. Cereal bar, cookies and cream flavour, to give it its full title. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I was expecting to see. I'm not sure how well you can see in this light, but it's, uh, it's black. Kind of looks like an Oreo. Not too bad. But again, it tastes like one of these sort of protein bars you'd have at the gym before a workout. Presumably they put some kind of additives in to uh, make it high energy, which uh, just slightly make me regret saving this till so late. It smells quite off-putting. It smells a bit like a rabbit hutch. Mm. 
Well, all right. It took quite a while to eat that. Quite chewy. Yeah, I don't want to clear the um, chewy stuff out my teeth. This strong mint gum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it's. <clears throat> now we're talking flavour. Nice. Kind of tastes like airwaves chewing gum. I have to still make that, do I? I still make airwaves chewing gum. Probably going to make uh, this hot chocolate taste a little odd now. Oh, still hot. But yeah, delicious. Just tastes like a Cadbury's one, really. Oh, that is a nice hot chocolate. Produced in the EU. For Velsi Foods. So, these will probably not be in the British ration packs once we leave the EU. Unless they're in fact. Oh, wait. Packed in EU for Vesti Foods UK Limited. I don't know. Maybe they are made in the UK. If you know the answer, go ahead, put it in the comments. I'll read it. Okay, fine dining fans, I've thoroughly enjoyed box number four, and I hope you have too. Oh wait, it's box number three. I've enjoyed it. Join me next time, when I will be having box number four. I don't know what's in it, so it's going to be another surprise, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious, if it's anything like what I've been having. Uh, get out. So until next time, foodies. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Good night.